Vanna Timothy, how was under five? Is our little boy growing strong? Oh yes, my husband. His weight is right where it should be. The nurse was very pleased. What's that you are carrying? The clinic was giving out insecticide treated bed nets or ITNs for all of us to sleep under, but especially children under five years. Oh look! Elite! Think of all the fish you'll be catching now. <laughs> Vanna Timothy, this is good news. Fishing will now be very easy. We will all be getting very fat. <laughs> no, 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 my husband. The net is for us to sleep under, so we are protected from the malaria causing mosquitoes that bite at night. The nurse even encouraged me to buy another net for our home. Don't waste your money. There is treatment for malaria. You don't need those nets. Buy a net. <laughs> if any of us gets malaria, we can go to the clinic for medicine. We don't need to waste our money on buying a net. The nurse says prevention is better than cure. Malaria is one of the leading causes of death in Zambia, especially among children. The little one's bodies are just not strong enough to fight the disease. We can't take that risk with little Timos or with ourselves. Malaria is not what puts you at risk. It is the poisonous chemicals on those nets. Don't you remember what happened to your neighbor? Vanna Timothy, you can't believe everything you hear. The chemicals on those nets are dangerous and caused Vanna Sampa to give birth two months early. Ha, Imwe. That was because she was pregnant before she got married and no one was supposed to know. That newborn was very big and healthy. Bigger than Timothy, in fact. What about your friend? Who became impotent from sleeping under a net? Vashimulenga can't have any more children because he slept under an insecticide treated net. I want to have more children than Timothy. Oh, Vash Timothy. Vashimulenga is 85 years old. Of course he can't have children anymore. <laughs> the choking. The ITNs will cause you to choke. <laughs> Stop breathing. <laughs> and... <laughs> How can you encourage us to use these nets when your own friend, Mrs. Banda, just died from choking while sleeping under a net? She wasn't choking my husband. She was coughing. She had been sick for months and died from TB. Listen, Vash Timothy. An insecticide-treated mosquito net does two things, and two things only. Number one, it repels and kills mosquitoes. Number two, it protects us from being bitten by malaria carrying mosquitoes. You see? The nets kill. So, tell me this. If the insecticide on the net can kill a mosquito, can't it also kill people? See? You have no answer. Now let me use this net for fishing. May my ancestors give me patience. Okay, let me explain. Mosquitoes are small and weak. So a very small amount of insecticide can repel and kill them. In other words, the insecticide on the nets is not strong enough to harm people. The nets save lives and are harmless to everyone, even to children and babies. The fish! The fish! Remember all the fish you can be catching and eating and selling. Okay, okay. I now believe they are safe. But Bana Timothy, we need to think about the future. We could be catching enough fish to eat and sell. <laughs> the future? How will you catch fish if you are sick with malaria or arrested by the police? It is illegal to fish with bed nets. Besides, what is the point of earning that money if we must spend it on treatment for malaria? And what future will we have if one of us dies from malaria? It is a risk we cannot take, my husband. Uh, you are right, my wife. Take this money and go and buy another net so that we can all stay protected from this terrible disease, malaria. <laughs>